Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocko here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Ripple, XRP and Swift. This is the part 2 of that video. Um, I'm going to go into detail of the latest of what's happening in the in my previous video. I talked about what's been the rumours and what's been happening up to now. And today I'm going to talk about what the Ripple, uh, someone from Ripple have said about this partnership. And I'll talk about whether it's a partnership or whether it's going to be a competitor. And I'll talk about some of the uh, facts. And, and a bit more last video was a bit more rumor based and speculation this video is going to be a bit more on data on actual facts and at the end of the video as you know guys on this channel I, t I like to talk about uh, the, to the fundamentals but I also do technical analysis at the end of the video I'll do a technical analysis and price prediction so without further ado let's get into the video so a few people commented oh why are you talking about Ripple XRP and Swift guys there's no smoke without fires guys when there's smoke there's always fire so that's what I'm talking about it and although um, I covered this in my previous video, XRP investor sentiment rallies as Ripple squashes Swift, Swift partnership rumors at CBOS. So I covered this in my video, but you need, you can't just take things at face value. You have to do your own due diligence and analysis and make up your own mind. So guys, what does Marcus Treacher, the global head of strategic accounts at Ripple said, Swift at CBOS today. The benefits of DLT are promising, but delivering it is still years away. There are 100 financial institutions with access to instant payments across 100 countries and 6 continents. Who would say otherwise? New McKinsey Global Payment System map suggests leading banks are moving away from POCs and using blockchain at scale. Ripple blockchain allows for faster time to market and better global payment services. So they're talking about they're going to be competitors and by competitors I don't mean they're going to take 20-30% of the market anyway. If they can take 5-10% in the next couple of years this is going to be huge for Ripple because uh, I've covered it in my previous video of the amount of volume Swift uh, an international money transfer makes so if Ripple can take a couple of percents from that it's going to be huge for Ripple and it will probably see I mean I don't want to make crazy price predictions but it could literally moon guys so but it's still far away it's not happening anytime soon so I hope the Ripple team will make it known that technology Swift says will take years already exist and works with Ripple I hope you guys get the chance for Rebutal so Ripple's got the technology guys but it hasn't got the adoption so it will take time for the adoption to happen and having technology is good but actually being able to deliver on it is not so easy and it takes a lot of time and it is difficult so we'll have to see how it delivers or uh, um, how XRP and Ripple team goes about it, which means XRP is a vehicle for instant cross border and people on Twitter are obviously getting excited and some people on Twitter are actually knowledgeable so you have to uh, give them give it some thoughts so yeah this is the news that came out and I'll share with you my thoughts so let's have a look at some facts of uh, Swift GPI and Ripple payments so Swift GPI tries to eliminate inherent faults in correspondent banking and is an attempt to revamp the same based on old standards Ripple on the other hand you guys know it offers a disruptive payment processing within closed user network Swift still holds the advantage of being the largest network for payment processes processing with over 111 thousand banks in its network swift gpi is a quantum leap to improve speed security transparency in payment process and processing standards which is now being used by 165 banks so you can see the vast difference although you might have the best technology it takes time to have adoptability it didn't internet didn't just change within within a couple of months it took years and obviously internet was quite disruptive and it did happen i'm not saying ripple and xrp will have the same effect but it has the potential amazon was down massively if you bought amazon at the peak it crashed and then it went up again i'm not saying ripple will do the same I'm invested in Ripple but I haven't got everything invested in Ripple so do your due diligence before investing everything in Ripple three key features of Swift GPI are GPI tracker GPI observer and GPI directory Swift GPI tracker provides end-to-end -end tracking of payments being processed so it is good it is working yes it is slow and Ripple can take advantage and improve it but it's it's a reliability when you're talking about money you need reliability and and reputation and cryptocurrency and Ripple just doesn't have that at the moment it will take time to build and yes potentially it can happen if Ripple can prove it's got better technology and it's better at doing that then then um 
than SWIFT. So SWIFT GPI also relies upon improving market infrastructure to achieve interoperability between domestic and cross-border payments. Corporate traders can take advantage of SWIFT GPI tracker as this provides visibility of receipts and inwards, which is quite key, um, and uh, and it rely on old infrastructure, not as disruptive as payments as blockchain technology. Ripple, on the other hand, based on disruptive distributed ledger technology DLT standards I talked about earlier, further enhanced framework using ILP to address interoperability and um, scalability issues. These are the Ripple products and the one thing that the main one we bothered about is XRAP is which uses XRP. Ripple offers payments with processing standards and they are a lot quicker um, than, than which is which is what we are banking on. Then Swift GPI promises payments within 30 minutes or within 20 four hours so uh, so we are a lot quicker within seconds compared to swift gpi ripple payment as with any disruptive technology face resistance in adoption which i've just talked about guys but they are getting partnership banco santander has previously launched ripple powered payment application one pay fx has gone live with swift gpi for cross-border ripple is one of the exhibitioners for proposed cbos 20 contrast to the fact that ripple launched swell at the counter event at for CBOS in 2016. The fact can be inferred from these developments is that global payment space is poised to witness disruptive changes. Ripple has forced Swift to improve payment processing standards. I'm not sure how valid that comment is, which has previously ignored. This is good news for major corporates, which has suffered uh, in, in, I can't pronounce that word, Swift GPI and Ripple payments are advanced, sorry, in efficacies, um, are advanced in payments processing space trying to address old issues using different approaches so yes this is my thoughts guys so i think ripple will be more of a competitor and and i think swift will try to build their own maybe blockchain and improve their products like it said in the video but ripple will be more of a competitor rather than partnering with with x um, with swift i don't think swift will just buy ripple so this article is really good. I definitely recommend you read this. Will Ripple Swift, uh, replace Swift? I'm not going to go through the whole article. It talks about the Ripple's history and X Rapids and how it works, how the technology works in Ripple and how how we transfer money using XRP in X Rapids. Uh, the question is, will Ripple replace Swift? And you can see the quickness of Ripple's uh, transferring, which can have massive benefits. It's got a talented team good liquidity no no liquidity concerns uh, decentralized um, although people say it's not decentralized but yes ripple or xrp is trying to be decentralized and ripple and xrp are different if you already don't know ripple doesn't have to exist for xrp to work and swift have been improving their own technology to fight off all the partners because when there's so much money involved other players would like to get involved no doubt so conclusion some believe R ripple will dethrone swift in few years i'm not convinced guys ripple is miles away it ca if it can take like this is saying over the years it will be enough for ripple to take 40 50 percent i'll be happy with 10 20 percent never mind 40 50 percent so yes ripple deploys xr x rappers to as many financial ent entities as possible will be witnessing a real revolution in years to come again i'm not saying it won't happen you can see what some of the positives of ripple and what it has been doing in the past you can read about it yourself the big companies that are interested but it's not just going to take everything from swift it takes time can it happen in the future? Yes. And um, can it start taking small percentage of it? Yes. But it's going to take ages before it replaces Swift. So those are my thoughts on it, guys. Again, slightly less speculative video and more about facts because I like to give you guys uh, facts and also because uh, some of the 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 content I provide in this channel I'd say is, is better. Again, not being big headed uh, is probably more informative than some of the other channels, but they have better marketing and better clickbaity videos. So I try to incorporate a bit of both. Um, but anyways, I'll get into the technical analysis. Um, for short term trading guys i won't touch xrp at the moment because as you can see it's such a tightening pattern guys it had this massive push with x rapids news and it had some push uh lately it had some bull uh, bull bull moves after i don't know if you can call it bull moves that it had some upward movements after that coinbase rumors that i made a video on but it's not really since then it's been very tightening pattern you can see inside bars inside bars guys one two three four um and it's not really doing much guys and 
and I wouldn't do short term trading and in my previous video I talked about this level being very very important yeah, I've, I've drawn a red box around it this level is very very important guys for XRP to stay above it it is holding above it because there's the moving averages there's 50 moving average and you need to think about the 200 moving averages coming down as well and uh, previously guys uh, in my previous trades you saw it kind of breaking out of this downward trend line and it broke out it's kind of forming a similar pattern so yes it, it needs to have a breakout it can it, I'd, I'd want it to go up but it can go down as well so be careful I'm not trading uh, cryptocurrencies as much there are some ones that are going crazy like Ravencoin and Polymath and, and a couple of others uh, Nano's doing quite well Looprings doing well but if you want to do short term trading look out for those coins do not try to short uh, short term trade bitcoin or xrp because it's such a tightening pattern it could go either way but yes if it can break out above it and the 200 moving average then yes it can see some upsides but i'm not going to look into the short term and um, time frames because uh, i think that you shouldn't really be trading until there's a breakout and i think there should be a breakout soon i know i've been saying this that there's going to be a breakout but there has to be a breakout otherwise we'll say there's some manipulation going on because the, it's so tight the pat um, such a tightening pattern there has to be a breakout anyway that's my quick analysis guys if it breaks above it and the 200 moving average then yes you can start buying it and this should be good resistance as well so thank you very much for watching this video guys if you have enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and make sure if you want to win $250 worth of XRP scroll down subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and leave your XRP addresses below to win $250 worth of XRP also guys if you don't follow me on Twitter make sure you give it a like I can update you more on Twitter than on um, YouTube I talk about some of the uh, coins that I'm trading I made some money on TRX and I share with you funny tweets and also some trading signals uh, which you can potentially make some money of. again this is not financial advice to your own analysis before taking these trades but you could probably learn about coins that are moving and you could make some potential money so thank you very much for watching this video guys if you have enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much